Older Parker squeeze filling converters use rubber sacks that eventually harden or leak, but they are easy to fix with only a few simple tools. The methods shown here will work for all metal body Parker converters. The sack on this converter is rock hard. To replace it, the end plug has to come out. To protect the plug, we insert the tapered shaft of this awl. It's a nice press fit, which will keep the plug from collapsing when we grip it with our padded pliers. First though, we want to apply some heat. The heat should be directed onto the metal, rather than onto the end plug. It doesn't take much. Once the end of the converter is hot to the touch, grip the plug firmly with your padded pliers and wiggle it out. Once the plug is out, remove the old sack from the converter body. Make sure you get all of it out. You may also have to clean off remnants of the old sack from the end plug. I normally use a much blunter knife for this job. A blade that is too pointed and too sharp tends to dig in, when what you really want is more of a chipping, peeling, and scraping action. The file is used to strip away any clinging bits. It shouldn't take off any material from the sack nipple itself. Keep the plug turning as you stroke the file. You can get a good view of the crimps that held in the end plug here. Now to install a new sack. The size is 16, tapered. Mark the correct length, then deduct for the thickness of the plug, and cut to length. We'll skip over attaching the sack to the plug. Just remember to use shellac and give it enough time to set good and hard. Once the shellac is set, it's time for reassembly. Put a little talc on the sack and a bit of silicone grease where it stretches over the plug to ease reinstallation. Make sure the crimps line up on the converter housing and the plug. Then brace the plug once again with the awl and wiggle it back in place. I did this one cold, but it's really better to warm the plug a bit first, especially when the crimping is deep. That's it. Good as new.